The Sony PD-170 is SPNN's newest addition to our camcorder equipment available to program producers. Because it is small, lightweight, and easy to handle, it is popular for making documentaries, recording church services, or other event-type shows. From a video setting standpoint, the camcorder can become totally automatic by setting the focus switch on the side of the lens to auto and turning on the green auto lock switch on the back of the camcorder. Once this is done, you don't need to set the focus, exposure, gain, shutter speed, white balance, or AE shift. The camera figures it out for you. If you want to make manual adjustments, turn off the auto lock and use the individual control buttons. For manual focusing, set the switch to manual and adjust with the outer ring on the lens. However, for most shooting situations, the auto settings will provide a good picture. If you intend to underexpose your picture, as in a day for night scene, or shoot out of focus for a special effect, then you will have to set the camcorder controls manually. The PD-70 has its own microphone mounted on top of the camera called the onboard mic. It's usually plugged into the mic number one input. This mic is a directional shotgun type with a windscreen. It is a high quality condenser microphone that requires a 48 volt power source. That's why there is a switch on the handle that can be set to 48V. If it isn't turned to 48V, the onboard mic will not work. Right next to the 48V switch, there is a three position switch that can be set at line, mic, or ATT, which stands for attenuation or reduction of volume level. If your sound source is very loud, use the ATT. Otherwise, this should be set at mic for a microphone or line if you are taking a feed from some other sound amplifier such as a mixer or PA system. You can see that both input 1 and input 2 have these switch controls. However, input 1 also has a switch that allows you to put that input on channel 2 as well. That way you can use one input and put it on both channels. This could be the onboard mic, or you could unplug it and connect a different mic, such as a handheld, clip-on lavalier, or receiver for a wireless mic. You could also send a single line input to both channels. However, if you do want to record channel 1 just on channel 1 and be able to record separately on channel 2, be sure the RECCH select switch is pushed down to CH1 on the upper left or input 1 side. In order to change the camcorder audio level from automatic to manual or manual to automatic, it is necessary to adjust the menu settings. You can find how the camcorder is set in the first place by opening the LCD screen and then pressing the silver button on the back of the camcorder marked audio level. This will show if one or both channels are set to auto or manual level control. If both channels are set to auto, the only indicators showing will be the meters on the top of the screen. If one of the channels, such as channel 2, has been set to manual, there will be an indicator on the bottom of the screen showing. In this case, 2 is highlighted and there is a bar halfway filled in with white. The white can be moved to the left to reduce the manual volume setting or to the right to increase it. You'll see how to do that in just a moment. It is possible to have one channel set on auto and the other at manual. It is possible to have input one set to record on both channels and have one of the channels on auto and the other on manual. That's the case here using the onboard mic. 
With the manual turned down, the auto shows higher. With the manual turned all the way up, the auto is lower. This technique could be used if one can't monitor the level during recording. The procedure for changing to or from auto volume is to press the menu button on the inside control panel. A menu screen appears. There are nine screens with several functions on each screen. The first step is to select the correct screen. This is done by rotating the control wheel on the back of the camcorder on the lower left near the audio level button. Rotate it up or down until the tape set screen appears. Do not be confused by the screen that says manual set. It doesn't apply to audio. Once you have the tape set screen, you can press this same control wheel in. When you do, a yellow highlight will appear. Rotate the wheel down to audio set and press the control wheel in. You will now be able to see how the AGC or automatic gain control has been set for the channel. In this case, it is on. Rotate the wheel down to see AGC channel 2 and you'll see it is off. That means it is on manual level. To change it, press the control wheel and move the highlight to on with the control wheel. Then press the wheel. Now both channels are on auto. Press the menu button, press the audio level button, and you can see both channels are now set to auto. The same procedure can be used to set both channels to manual by turning off the auto for both channels. It's important to check the level setting as you check out the camcorder, since the mode will remain the same from the previous user. Of course, if you don't remember from this video how to change the settings to the way you want them, don't worry. The person at the access desk can do it for you, but you need to tell us whether you want the audio level to be auto or manual, and if you want input one to be on both channels or just on channel one. And that's our tech tip. I'm Ed Sanders. Good luck shooting.